Now, a subject that we love to avoid. With Facebook, there is a legacy contact, a contact person that you can nominate. So when you die, someone looks after your Facebook. But what happens to our important things like money and our assets when we're gone? Well, first take a look at this. Perpetual Guardian took to the streets to find out how many of us have a will. No, I don't have a will. Currently, no, I do not. Yes, I do, actually. Uh, I think quite a bit too young for it. I guess I've sort of never felt I had the need for one. Um, I don't own a house currently. Um, I have no children. The reason I just didn't set up was probably more just time, just thinking it would take a long time. Time and money and get a lawyer and that sort of thing that probably holds me back a little bit. Wow, the overwhelming majority are not expecting to need a will anytime soon. That is fascinating. And what about our audience? Who's got a will here? Yeah. Hands up. See, I think, I think some of you are probably faking that because now you feel bad about not having a will. So I'm sure that it's not really looking that good. Well, we have Charlotte Lockhart, an advisor from Perpetual Guardian, here to give us a dose of reality. Charlotte, it is lovely to have you in the studio. Thanks Thank for joining you. us. First up, why is it so important to have a will? Well, the will is your a very important document that then says, I want this to happen to the things that I have and I want this to happen for the loved ones that I have. So there's two very important things that we do with a will is we uh, tell people what we want to do with our, our things, but we also appoint guardians for our children. Mm, which is obviously when you've got children, you start thinking about it. But looking at that video, what was interesting is that a lot of people that were young said, well, I'm really young, I don't need a will yet. No. But that's not necessarily the case, is it? And you feel very strongly about this on a personal level as well, don't you? Well, I do. Um, I got breast cancer at quite a young age. My children were six and eight at the time. Oh. and. Uh, so it was a confronting moment that made me realise that this was something that I needed to take care of. My husband and I, we'd, we'd lived overseas previously, so we already had wills and enduring powers of attorney. We'll talk about those at another time. But um, it, this was a time when I needed to update my will and make sure that everything was in place for looking after the children. Fortunately, as you can see, I'm here. I was going to say, is everything <laughs> good? Survived, everything is good. So, um, yes, and, and so I had a really successful situation. Uh, you know, end to my story. Oh, that's, that is very good. But so obviously this is something that you, you had a will already. So you need a will, but you need to, it's not just a one-off thing, is it? You need to keep it updated. No, well, this is the thing. And people often think, oh, I've got an event. I should do this. But actually a will is something that is a live and current document and you should be reviewing them on a regular basis. Like we in review our insurances or um, our power provider or, or any of those other things, mm -hmm. uh, making sure that your needs are being covered by your will on a constant basis. But access and cost are often something, and as we heard in the video, it's going to cost lawyers and money and well, that's time. The thing. And, and is things. it difficult is it difficult to set one up? I mean what's involved with it? Well so you so yes you can go to your lawyer and, and often people that's the main place people think that they will do that. Um, as trustee companies like ours, um, we also do uh, wills. Uh, we've set up an online will because access was one of the biggest problems and our online will's actually really inexpensive. Um, and so that gets over the cost issue as well okay. so yeah we so made that so it's not expensive and everyone should definitely do it and it doesn't take too long and you can actually even do it online well Charlotte yep. that has been enlightening thank you so much I'm sure uh, m myself and also a lot of our studio audience will be going and checking their wills uh, when we head home so thank you so much for that we'll see you again soon no problem fascinating subject and we could speak a long time about this that is for sure